Brace yourselves for the return of the legendary Waffendrager. This is the video I was able to show you yesterday as well already actually, which was kind of leaked on the Watt Express. But today they are releasing exactly the same video, you know, with the amazing tune. It is the official soundtrack basically, just showcasing this mode a bit more. Um, I absolutely love this tune, by the way. It has a weird, uh, weird kick to it, honestly. But in this article they released today, they released the full guide for the event, which starts on September 27th and runs uh, through October 11th. The menacing Blitz Drag Rofi 100 is fighting versus the Harrier. So uh, this event, the entire event has a lot of similarities to the last year's event, the return of the Waffendrager or Waffendrager Returns, something like that. Uh, but it has some key differences, new tanks, uh, new abilities, uh, but uh, you know, the main thing, of course, uh, once again, we kind of have, uh, well, we cannot say loot boxes, but uh, a system which is basically the same as loot box system, right? Uh, so, return of the often dragger, general setup, uh, three maps, uh, Muravanka, secret line, and steps, nice. Um, uh, so, here is the full event guide, basically, uh, all in all, Long story short, the overall event is the same. You have to collect keys, you have to collect... Um, you have to fill collections, and if you want to play with Wolfendrager first, you have to play with Harriers, or you have to complete some missions uh, to get those keys. And also, ladies and gentlemen, the event's main reward is the brand new Astron Rex 105mm, a brand new Tier 8 Premium American Medium Tank, which I have showcased on this channel before as well. I was thinking it is going to be part of the Yo Tanks, but actually not, so this is finally uh, where it ends up being, and uh, this is kind of the bait uh, for this entire event, I would say so. And so the Harrier battles, uh, uh, we have Object 140, M48A5 Baton and Badger 25T, a Resistor, Thunderbolt and Founder, 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 and with special abilities, they all have special abilities, uh, they have similar bullet charge and uh, overload uh, is the same, but this one mm, is a bit different, so the uh, Object 140 gets a Railgun, after activating the shot that follows will be less accurate, but will cause more damage match to the enemy and tear modules. Okay, and so to the Sentinels or to the Waffendrager itself. Uh, Thunderbolt right over here, Baton. Uh, increase the vehicle's rate of fire, but decreases, uh, decreases its mobility for a certain time. And uh, this guy's special ability is Shield, grants in vulnerabilities to stuns and damage received from shells uh, for a certain length of time. Uh, charge makes it faster, Silver Bullet is just, you know, able to deal damage and Overload uh, gives you some, uh, like, replenishes some hit points, uh, for example. Right, the first pickup will do that. Uh, but um, you know, how the entire gameplay works, uh, we are going to focus on that when the event is over here. Of course, guys, just stay tuned, hit the subscribe button, notification bell, because as soon as it goes live, I am going to play it and I'm going to show it to you. Uh, but over here, the Blitz Dragger of E100, uh, to fight in the mighty and powerful Blitz Dragger of E110, sorry, uh, you need a key, like last year. Uh, to get the first key, you have to complete a special mission in random battles and you get one one key already, so uh, this is kind of what they uh, uh, tried to fix um, uh, compared to the last year's event, because last year what happened? There were hundreds of Harriers waiting in the queue, but no one didn't have any keys for E100 or E110 Waffendrager, and no one was able to get into the battle, so I guess this is their way to fix it. Everyone gets one key to complete uh, one mission, and after that you get extra keys, you have to simply complete Harrier missions like last year. And as expected, keys will also be available as part of bundles in the premium shop during the event, and this is the key thing over here, uh, because most likely those bundles uh, include some much needed currency called uh, starters, which is very weird word to use uh, for a special key which unlocks a vehicle a vault or uh, portal uh, where you're able to spawn premium tanks if you are lucky. So this is kind of the loot box thing. But we get here guys, don't worry. But here is the Blitz Dragger of E110 itself uh, with uh, some of the old abilities such as EMP Arrow which slows the vehicles, stuns them basically. Uh, EMP Burst uh, stuns your uh, 
enemies around you and deal some damage as well. Uh, teleportation is the new thing. Of course, you're able to jump from one place to another and absorption is also a new skill. Once again, how everything works, we will take a look and this is how it looks like. Um, and it is not a double barrel gun. Yes, guys, I know. Sorry. It is a rail gun, which just, you know, looks like a double barrel gun. At first I thought it fires like a beer beer like... Um, you know, Star Wars style stuff. <laughs> anyway, uh, moving on, how to play. Uh, so, seven dangerous Harriers uh, versus uh, one Wolf Dragory 100. And over here, you have the collection, exactly like last year. And if you complete every single, uh, if you collect every single collection item, uh, you are going to get 3000 bonds in total. And uh, you also get uh, free premium days. You get some bonds uh, while you are leveling up. And also, this uh, token right over here, which is uh, Engineer Starter, which is very key thing. One once again, uh, so Harrier style, also crew members over here, you need, you need crew members and under the engineer you get this as a uh, crew member as well. Uh, to complete this you have to play with Harriers, to complete with uh, to complete this you have to play with Waffentrager E110 as far as I understand. But now let's move on to the main thing, let's talk about the rewards and uh, should you spend your time playing this game mode in the first place, what are you able to get besides those uh, rewards and styles and tea also over here, right? Dimension, gates and rewards. For completing event missions as well as for defeating the rare Blitz Dragger of E220. Let's actually make it a bit bigger uh, for you. Uh, more about this in the future article. Keep your eyes peeled. Now, last time we were able to play with the golden version of the uh, special E220 as content creators. Content creators were able to play with it on certain hours uh, during their live stream or on um, YouTube videos, I believe. And also World of Tanks official channels were able to uh, play with it, of course. Um, uh, you will receive starters, special keys for activating dimension gates. So keep in mind, this is starters, a very weird word to use for keys. Uh, through activated uh, dimension gates, you will be able to get valuable loot, including collection items. You can, uh, you can earn the Harriers starters for completing event missions while playing in the Harrier squad, squad vehicles. Now, these keys will allow you to activate the Harriers gate, which looks like this. Uh, there is a chance it will drop a unique Harrier's collection item or a guaranteed price from the list below. Credits, personal reserves, days of World of Tanks premium account time, consumables, team mounting kits. Of course, there has to be team mounting kits in it as well. And garage slots. So this was the Harrier's gate, but now moving on to the more special gate. By completing the Engineer's combat missions, and uh, you have to play with Waffentrager E110, as far as I know, right? You can earn the Engineer's starters. These keys are used to activate the Engineer's gate, and you can see it already looks a lot more special. You can also get the Engineer's starters upon completing certain progression milestones. So you can get up to four uh, by completing or collecting the collection items. As you can see, I think this is the special Engineer starter icon, right? So up to four from there, but you need a lot more, I believe. Uh, as well as from special bundles in the premium shop, of course, and if you are lucky when activating the engineer's gate or the harrier's gate. So if you activate his gate uh, with your collected harrier's uh, starters or uh, the engineer's starter gate, uh, there is a chance you get some of them back, right? Upon activation, the engineer's gate will bring you a guaranteed item from the following list. Gold. Credits, personal reserves, days of World of Tanks premium account time, demounting kits and crew books. So gold over here, ladies and gentlemen. Is a straight hint of words like we had the food lockers last time, which is basically a loot box. So this is a... Am I too far off when I say this is a loot box in different uh, shape, basically? Right. And, okay, we are not going to stop over there. You can already see some gold shines over here, right? But if the stars are aligned, you might get even greater prices, including special custom looks and decals, not included in the event collection. Striking Harrier themed 3D styles for the Object 140 budget and M48A5 baton. Like in the Christmas boxes, we have the special 3D styles. Although I have to say, I actually would like to, uh, would like to have all of them, honestly. 
but the sweetest prices are the impressive tier 8 premium tanks including the brand new Astron Rex 105 apart from this predator you may receive a premium vehicle from the following list so you have quite a huge array of tanks over here d77 lanson c isu 152k turtle mk1 emil 1951 this is a reward vehicle in this list which is also a premium tank though m40 1d lt432 e75 ts centurion rock uh, super burshing cs52 list uh, which was a marathon tank expensive tank right so I have to say, the uh, list of vehicles is not half bad. I would be the least excited about maybe ISU-152K and M41D and maybe Emil as well, because it was a reward vehicle. Um, but uh, I hope you have no chance uh, to get duplicate vehicles. Like last year, we didn't have a chance to get duplicate vehicles, or did we? Can't remember exactly. Sorry, sorry on that, guys. But now, vehicle gate. Last but not least, there is also a special vehicle gate that requires a, uh, an engineer's starter to activate. You can receive a particular reward from it, the Astron Rex 105mm, a brand new tier 8 premium American medium tank. This one right over here, we come back to this in a second. To activate the vehicle gate and grab this uh, intimidating hunter, you need to have 60 engineer's starters. But if you get this tank from the engineer's gate, before that, the vehicle gate will become inactive. So what they are saying over here basically is there is a special vehicle gate where you can guarantee yourself this new vehicle as a reward. And you need 60 of them. And I made sure to ask from uh, one of the Wargaming guys, um, are you able to get 60 tokens or 60 engineer starters? Uh, simply by playing the game mode, even every single day. And the answer was no. Uh, you cannot get 60 engineer starters in total. So if you do not want to spend any money into this game and want to get these uh, special vehicles, uh, you have to hope that one of your drops is going to be a premium tank, which is Aston Rex 105mm from the uh, standard vehicle gate, the engineer gate, where the vehicle drop chance... Uh, uh, is existing basically so yeah that's quite a bummer but once again uh, this uh, other gate is only if you want this vehicle and um, if i'm completely honest with you i was not very impressed with this thing well it is auto loader ladies and gentlemen 320 alpha damage, 190 millimeters of penetration which is very bad uh, let's uh, talk more about the gun uh, 250 with premium rounds, uh, accuracy is horrible, 0 0.43, absolutely horrible accuracy, honestly, aiming time is good, but 34 second reload time for the full magazine, 5 shells in the magazine and 4 second reload time between shots. Very interesting, and at the same time I would say, uh, like, the firepower is not impressive at all, especially the penetration, the accuracy and the reload time between uh, shells, like, it takes, guys, it takes 16 seconds to empty your clip. It's basically like semi non-autoloader. It is autoloader, but it is not autoloader, if you know what I mean, right? Also, 390 meter view range. We have some hull armor over here. Yeah, it has some slope to it, you know. It's like this armor, I would say, is going to be quite the troll armor. Mobility is also nothing uh, uh, crazy impressive. Let's go right over here. 14.5 bar to weight ratio. This is not impressive at all. 450 horsepower engine. Uh, 60 to reverse speed is nice. 52 and 30 top speed. <laughs> reverse speed is quite crazy, honestly, but uh, like. It is not extremely impressive, so guys, I would already say, please, do not do any purchases, please do not try to uh, buy your um, engineer starters, which most likely are going to be as part of the bundles, right, uh, to get that vehicle, because... It is not that impressive, and if I'm going to compare it, like over here we have some more pictures about this tank, uh, just to showcase to, uh, it to you. It looks cute, okay? It looks tiny, it looks mini, you know, like a little ELC, even 90. Uh, a little bugger, okay, let's put it that way, right? If I compare it to like Lorraine, Barbecue, Brochetta, okay, those are all the nastiest tanks, right? Uh, but uh, the penetration over here, actually, in the public test, it shows 185, so I guess they buffed it. 
or the article is wrong or some something is wrong uh, you can see that uh, the dpm you know it's it's average right uh, aim time two second accuracy is uh, by far the worst accuracy uh, it doesn't have the crazy stabilization as uh, barbecue has or parask has with its uh, horrible accuracy and aim time right but stabilization is absolutely godlike uh, also the terrain resistance numbers are not anything crazy good um, you know, I would say it's it quite average, right? Let's take a look at the 3D model as well. A live 3D model. So lower plate, uh, by the way, lower plate is a bait. On this tank, lower plate is going to be your bait. Like if you see this uh, tank on the angle like this, don't go for the lower plate. Instead, hit the upper plate. Turret seems to be, you know, bouncy, but, you know, I'm uh, I'm looking this tank with 190 millimeters of penetration. But if you load in some... You know, 250, everything becomes green right away, and Commander Hatch is as big as the free. Like, look at that! Commander Hatch is actually as tall as the turret itself. Commander Hatch is massive on this little tiny tank. Uh, visual, right? Look at that! Look at that! Absolute, absolute stupidity once again. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, Blitz Drag Rauf E110 is coming back uh, with. Uh, like similar event with some changes some new abilities uh, different reward system different but same same but different but still the same you know reward uh, system type of reward system engineer skate astron rex uh, as a bait this year uh, but the list of vehicles is uh, quite good i would say so uh, so hopefully uh, you are just lucky guys and you are going to get what you need or hopefully you get at least a single premium tank because you should be able to open at least a couple of them by simply playing the game and without paying any money i honestly hope so fingers crossed that you get those uh, uh, tokens you have to play with harriers to collect keys and with those keys you can play with uh, blitz dragger and happy hunting let me know what you think about that in the comment section down below as always ladies and gentlemen stay tuned for more action by hitting the subscribe button notification bell this has been your friendly neighborhood red arrow on the thumbnail news anchor death games and i'm out i'm actually going outside right now if you're interested